today I filed a lawsuit in federal court um, against the city and against the mayor to uh, try and have the gun ban in the parks rule vacated. And this is not a surprise. We we saw you. Our television photographer was there in West Seattle as you, you brought a, a handgun in uh, and, and were asked to leave. Tell me why you're doing this. Well, uh, like, I, like I said there, um, I just think, you know, I, I think what the mayor did is clearly illegal. It violates the Constitution of both the state and the, the U.S. It violates state law. And uh, it, it didn't cost... It didn't cost me very much to uh, to go across town and and challenge the rule. Um, so I I decided I was going to go ahead and and present myself like I did two weeks ago uh, with my handgun in a facility where purportedly the handguns were not allowed, so that I would have standing once they told me to leave, um, standing to file a, a lawsuit. And I went ahead and filed that today. And and tell me why you believe that you're in the right here. Well, I believe. Uh, well, first of all, the Second Amendment to the Constitution, I believe, is pretty clear. Uh, the, the state constitution is pretty clear, but the state law, um, RCW nine point four one, is very clear that the state legislature uh, has preempted the entire field of of gun regulation. Any any type of regulation to do with with handguns uh, has been specifically taken away from municipalities and reserved only for the state. Uh, and so when the mayor, just kind of on his own, uh, decided to regulate handguns, I, I just saw that as such a, a blatant um, uh, usurpation, I guess, of, of, of what he's supposed to be doing. You know, the state had already stated that it's theirs. Uh, Attorney General Rob McKenna issued an opinion saying the same thing. Cities have no, no legal right to, uh, to regulate handguns in any way. Now, I apologize. I'm not an attorney, so th- maybe this is a dumb question. But this is a federal lawsuit. You're not filing this in in any sort of state or county court. I'm, I'm wondering why choosing that. It seems you are going to make the Second Amendment argument here. That's right. Uh, but the, the, the federal question that gets me in the door at federal, in federal court is actually the Civil Rights Statute, uh, 42 U.S.C. Section 1983, which is a pretty common uh, federal statute to cite for constitutional Violate violations of constitutional rights against individuals, and so that uh, that is the, the primary claim um, that I have is the is the violation of the federal constitution, and I also um, have cited the state the state claims as well. I guess why choose federal over district court or another uh, jurisdiction? Uh, I'm used to practicing in federal court um, to the extent I have. You know, actively practiced law in the past. It's always been in the area of uh, employment and civil you know, civil rights with regard to employment discrimination in federal court. Uh, So I guess a lot of it is that I'm just, I'm I'm more familiar with federal court than I am with with state court. Also, the previous, there's one other complaint filed by the NRA and the Second Amendment um, Foundation and some other individual plaintiffs. uh, They filed it a a few weeks ago, and that was filed in state court. So now there is a a case in state court and my separate case in federal court, um, each of them alleging slightly different... uh, Series of, of uh, you know legal legal action, uh, so I think uh, I think they complement each other well. Any hope here that I mean, in the past, the the you know the state the the the, the federal Supreme Court has been pretty narrow in in its rulings, as far as I I know, when it comes to the Second Amendment. I mean, is there a hope here that there might be some sort of broader ruling if it got that far? I mean, or am I just completely off base? Even no, I, th- I think it's a good question. The the, the the Second Amendment, for some reason, is sort of the the last frontier of, of uh, constitutional rights, as far as having them defined by the Supreme Court. Uh, it was just two years ago in the Heller case, that's H E L L E R, uh, that the Supreme Court first said definitively that the Second Amendment provides a right to individual citizens to to bear arms. Uh, there's a case pending right now that will be decided by the Supreme Court this term, called McDonald. Uh, and that is going to determine whether or not the Second Amendment applies to states, not just to the to the federal government. Um, so, so this is, it really is. It's on the sort of the the cutting edge of constitutional law right now. As hard as that is to believe. And I mean, honestly, from what I'm hearing, I mean, Mayor Nichols clearly said he will defend this. But I, I talked to Mike McGinn. He said he is absolutely going to defend this ban. This fight really. Potentially, I mean, I'm looking far ahead here, but really could end up in the Supreme Court. It's possible. It, it, it's possible. I'm willing to, uh, you know, I'm willing to take it as far as I can take it, um, just, you know, to try and get the ruling that I think is, is right. 
you actually don't live in Seattle. Is that right? That's, that's right. I live in Kent. I, I grew up in West Seattle, but uh, I live in Kent. And so why, well, I guess if you live in Kent, someone might say, well, why do you care what's going on in Seattle? Well, because really, I mean, Kent is essentially a part of Seattle. I mean, it's, you know, when you go to, when you go to Roxbury Street uh, on the south end of Seattle, you don't see any big wall. You know, it's just a street. And <laughs> I guess I'm saying the borders don't mean that much. Uh, you know, Kent, if you want to go to any, uh, you know, to see a professional uh, sports game or, or decent theater or, or whatever, you know, Seattle is the cultural center. So, so yeah, I, I see it as a complete non-issue, the fact that I live in Kent. So I appreciate you taking time for me today. All right, thanks.